good morning students today we are going to do uh, this experiment here magnetic field along axis of current carrying coil Stewart and Gee's method so in this case this is our setup so this one is called the power supply the current comes from here and this is a coil here this power supplies the wire gets connected here and from there underneath there is this uh, you know uh, wire going round and round and here there is this setup 550 500 so if we change this connection from one two three in different places we can control how many rounds of wire is coming into uh, the connection then we have this horizontal you know uh, bar where we can place a magnetic needle here we are going to show you how this magnetic needle works in a little more detail and so here what you see uh, in this case that this magnetic needle is a small magnet at the center and this magnet has a red dot in it so this red dot represents the north direction so this is the magnet and this magnet is currently pointing towards this direction so this is the north pole art of arts magnetic field and this is the south pole this direction is the south pole of this arts magnetic field in this direction so that means this is east this is west now that's stand still because arts magnetic field is not changing that's why this magnet is also not changing its direction but now if i bring a external magnetic field like this one so this is a bar magnet and you can see there is a white dot this white dot represents its north direction of this magnet so now if i bring it close then you see this one is trying to align itself according to this magnet if i change the position of the magnet the magnetic needle would also change its direction so this is the north side of this bar magnet so this is the south side of this bar magnet right so that means this needle is showing you a resultant direction due to this bar magnet and the external which is omnipresent the arts magnetic field but generally arts magnetic field is not that strong and this is a stronger magnetic field due to this bar magnet so that's why this magnetic needle is always trying to orient itself according to the magnetic field of this bar magnet right so in our real experiment here what we have is this magnetic needle so right now we have the current switched on so that's why it was pointing in a different direction now when we don't have any current supply in this circuit then again the magnetic needle is pointing towards this direction so this is the arts magnetic field north pole direction right so that means this is the east this direction is the east and this direction is the west right so now like earlier we did this bar magnet that's what was working uh, as external magnetic field in this case this coil would produce a magnetic field if we supply some electric current then that magnetic field is going to work like an external magnetic field for this magnetic needle so if we switch on the current for the this uh, coil then there will be a magnetic field produced now what would be the direction of that magnetic field generally for a coil you can understand that the direction of the magnetic field is given by this right hand thumb rule so if this is the direction of the current so this is the direction of the current then your thumb will direct towards the north pole due to the magnetic field generated by this coil so that means if i send a current here along this direction then the north pole will be in this direction so let's see i will switch on the current so there will be a current flowing in this direction so let's see what happens 
the moment I will switch it on, you will see the needle will change its direction. Right. So now you see this red dot is pointing towards this direction. So that means this coil is producing a magnetic field whose north pole is uh, this way. So that's why this red dot is along this direction. Now, if I change its position this way or this way means towards east or towards west, then what will happen? As I am going away from the axis or along the axis of this coil at a different place, so the magnetic field would change its value and so this magnetic needle would change its orientation. So earlier it was like this in this along this direction. Now it is already tilted a little bit, right? So it will tilt further, 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 further as I'm going along this west direction. The same same will happen if I move if I move in the east direction. It means that means in the other direction this way. So you see now it's far away from the coil, and that's why now it's orienting towards the uh, arts magnetic field. Right, so this is the arts magnetic field north pole direction. Right, so if I bring it close to the magnet again, means the coil, it will change its orientation again. See, it is now oriented according to the magnetic field due to the coil. So, what will happen in this experiment is we'll record this position along this uh, bar, along this uh, axis, and find out how much is the deflection at different places and we will record that okay so here in this case it is showing uh, the one so that means the current that I am uh, sending through the coil is 1 ampere I can change the value of the current by changing by controlling uh, from this uh, regulator and with this experiment we will perform generally with different values of the current and then we will calculate how the magnetic field changes or the deflection changes along this axis of this magnetic coil. And one more thing is the strength of the magnetic field not only depends on the current that I am sending also depends on the number of tunnels. So here there are these five dif uh, uh, three different values of the uh, you know coils that I can apply. So if I change the connection from here, so in that case there will be only five turns uh, in the coil. If I put it here as it is right now, so that means fifty turns are applied. If I put it here, then there will be five hundred different turns in the coil coming into the circuit. Right. So in this way, we can take different uh, number of turns, we can change the value of the current flowing through the uh, circuit and thus accordingly, we can take different types of reading. So theoretically, we can calculate the value of the magnetic field along the axis of such a coil and this is this expression. B, the magnetic field is mu naught n i a squared divided by 2 x squared a squared and then whole 3 by 2 where mu naught is the permeability of the free space n is the number of turn in this coil then i is the current passing through the coil a is a is the radius of this coil and then x is the distance away from its center along the axis. So here from this rail we can calculate the distance that is away from this uh, the coil from this marking on the rail. Right. So you can use this expression for the magnetic field for this coil or you place this magnetic uh, this needle along this axis of this coil you can calculate the magnetic field by using this expression also there is another expression called this one b is equal to be into 10 theta right so where be is called the horizontal component of the arts magnetic field and 10 theta so what is the theta theta is as you move 
the needle away from the coil as I showed earlier it shows some deflection right so how much it got rotated at different places that's the theta right so you have two expressions one is B is equal to the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field multiplied by 10 theta the deflection so that's one expression for the magnetic field another expression is from this and you can verify so this expression is coming from the biot severs law from the shape of this coil and away how much away it is and so forth so you performing this experiment you can compare these two expressions one b is equal to b into 10 theta and another b is equal to this one so that's the purpose of this experiment and here one more thing you can see here is a plot where if you see how much the deflection happens as you move the needle away from this coil in the two direction so right now the north is along this direction south is along this direction and then east is along this direction west is along this direction right so in, in here in this plot as you move el the needle along the rail of this setup the deflection would also change like this so at the center maximum displacement means when i have the needle right beneath or uh, the 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 coil maximum displacement as i rotate the needle away from the coil the deflection decreases right so such a plot is representing how much deflection do you see the characteristic of the deflection then here are some you know sample data where what i did what we have done is this is the column representing how much far the needle was placed along this uh, uh, the rail then what was the theta in the one side west side this is the theta along the west side then you take the average and that's how you calculate at a particular distance so again so let's say here i have it so i see how much is the reading here so from there i can calculate the theta right and this way i can calculate different values of this 10 theta right so similarly then i have all these theta values so i can calculate the 10 theta then i have this expression b is equal to b into 10 theta so i calculate this corresponding b values then from this expression that i have also shown earlier from that expression i can also calculate the beta b values means magnetic field and i can compare these two expressions okay so this is about this experiment and uh, thank you